So it's the final film. How much are you going to miss it, firstly? Oh, no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so the camera swivel. I fully got yeah, nervous. the camera went to you. Um, that's why it's perfect that I act, because I'm petrified in front of a lens. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> uh, no, we're going to miss it tremendously, you know? Uh, genuinely, it's something that I think only will, it'll only just set in more and more uh, how much I miss it. And, you know, but it's just, it's just there's nothing to do than uh, look back on it with just the fondest of memories, you know? It's one of the best experiences uh, I'll ever have. So I think we all just kind of try to soak it up while it's still lasting and we're in these lovely dark hotel rooms. <laughs> together and uh what a treat for us all yeah <laughs> um when you got the role in the film did you ever imagine it'd be such a huge franchise immediately yeah <laughs> i was like well this is going to be gigantic <laughs> obviously now that i'm in it <laughs> is that how you feel about everything you're, in, yeah. you're like well huge success you have to it's a dog fight out there <laughs> <laughs> Snapchat videos the same as well. Like it's going to be win an Oscar that, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Give uh, us the gold. Jeez. <laughs> oh um, um, no. There's no way. I've already taken too much time not answering the question. We can't now answer the question. Okay, next one. Um, Do you want me to take off? <laughs> uh, I mean, you know. Um, how does this film differ to the others? Uh, it's uh, it's it's longer. Um, <laughs> it's much longer. <laughs> um, but it no, it's uh, it's it's got a different um, aesthetic. It's got a, a whole different color palette. Um, it's got a different vibe, a different feel. It's the first movie we're not running away from things; we're actually running towards things. Um, we, we're a lot more uh, grounded in ourselves and kind of um, know what we're doing a little bit more. We're on a mission. Uh, it's the first time we've actually known anything about anything. So, yeah, we go on a little mission. The other two uh, were uh, just kind of going with your instinct and trying to survive, whereas this is, uh, this is a rescue mission. Um, so it just has a different feel, different pace. It feels a little bit more mature, and it just, uh, yeah, it rounds things off nicely. Did you ever feel pressure coming back after the huge success of the first two films? I don't think we've, we've never genuinely operated under any kind of stress or pressure from the first movie on. Um, yeah, even coming back to it after um, we had some success with it, you know, I think it's always just been um, just a very genuinely comfortable experience, you know, something that, if anything, it's kind of a trip. Uh, it feels so intimate to us at the time when we're filming and working on these movies that then it's it, it actually... We have to remind ourselves that, you know, that people are going to see these. <laughs> I don't know. It's just, it is that kind of family experience, you know. So it's never been uh, something we think about, I think, on any level. And the whole thing, the way it's shot, does look beautiful and you shot in all these amazing places. Is yeah. there one place which was a particular favourite to film in? Well, all three of them for different reasons. Yeah, for different reasons. Yeah, they're yeah. all different chapters for us, you know, uh, and for the films. No, they all um, suit the films really well as well. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Albuquerque, well, New Mexico, I think, has just such a great landscape that can look like loads of places. So does South Africa as well. Um, I don't know. And then, we, yeah, Louisiana the as first well. One in the glade. It's like sweaty and um, close, and that was that was a big part of the glade, I think. I don't know. I liked them all for their own yeah. purpose. Yeah, it was amazing to finish in South Africa. It yeah. Was, that was unbelievable. Um, so the films are super high energy, and I imagine you have to do lots of training. Is it nice to just not have to wake up and think, OK, I don't have to run today? We, I, I just <laughs> sprint everywhere. <laughs> like, I can't wake up and think that, because I wake up and I'm already... You're already running. Yeah, I bolt out the door. The hotel staff have to He sleep like, runs. That guy's in his underwear <laughs> in the halls again. Like, someone get his pants on. Mr. Clyde. Mr. Clyde's in the... <laughs> My alter ego. <laughs> no, we didn't, we, didn't, we didn't do much in the way of training, really, of all getting up and running. And um, yeah, this one was probably the, out of all of them, probably the least kind of physically active out of all of them. Um, uh, yeah, but uh, no, the, the, the same thing that we've had for the first two movies as well, is we didn't want to look like we're athletes in any way. 
um, mm. because they're just meant to be you know normal kids thrown into a circumstance. So our training's always been quite um, minimal. <laughs> um, so spoilers for anyone watching this, Thomas, you die. Um, how you kind of knew that when you signed on to the first film? Did that ever change the way you played the character? Um, no. No. Um, it was something I was aware of the whole time, but it, it didn't seem relevant or important to me in the first two movies, at least, just because he wouldn't know about his own fate. And in the third one, he, he is a bit more aware of it. Um, yeah, I think he's, yeah, well, he is. He's aware that he is probably going to die. So, yeah, I changed it then a little bit, but that was that was nice. It was, it was fun to have something else to play with within that character. But, yeah, first two, no. Um, and was it fun getting to do that scene, kind of all the prosthetics and kind of the split personality in it? Yeah, it was really fun, actually. Yeah, having that split personality thing was something that both ways and I really wanted to to do. So you could see Newt kind of struggling inside and um, battling himself and then also physically battling with Thomas. That was really cool. I really enjoyed that. And it was, yeah, it was a night shoot. And we had a padded set to run and play around on. And the makeup team did a fantastic job, I thought. I had massive yeah. plates in my eyes um, that looked great. Yeah, it was really cool, really fun. And you have died several times on screen <laughs> <laughs> in Thrones and in Godless. Um, mm. As it were, rank your death scenes. Which is your favourite? Rank my death yeah. scenes. Um, I realise I've got a habit of being stabbed as well. Mm. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Rank my this. This one's been a great death. Um, it's fun, kind of going cranky and fighting my buddy, and that being kind of a gritty, dirty, nasty fight that neither person actually wants to win. I, I like that. Did either of you read the books before auditioning or getting the role? And how many of them did you read? Uh, no, that wasn't until after. I had only known of the books when I was sent the project. I think that was the same for all of us. Did yeah, anyone, I think so. No. Has anyone been aware of it before? Uh, no. I don't think so. Maybe Wes. I'm not sure. Um, and obviously there are a couple of prequel books. Would either of you be interested in returning to the world with these prequel As stories? As a five-year-old? <laughs> <laughs> Have you read them? Ha-ha-ha! <laughs> 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 um, sure, I could do that. <laughs> you can play anything nowadays with face replacement. That's true, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> just five year old little Thomas body. It's like, <laughs> so that's a yes. Because I think it doesn't the first one end with like me and Teresa as little. I don't know. I haven't read them. I just mm -hmm. heard heard this. I don't know. And then there's a second prequel that he's written now after that. So maybe mm -hmm. that one is appropriate. Sure. But then we're gonna okay. You go ahead. <laughs> you go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was going to say, this is kind of, it's been sort of a golden age of this dystopian young adult uh, fiction with the Hunger Games, Divergent series, and now this. How exciting was it being involved in something which was so huge for young fans? Um, I don't know, I hadn't, I hadn't really <laughs> ever thought of it in that way, but um, it's just, we're, we're just happy to be involved in, in, in this as a movie, really, and uh, in order to get to tell our story and... Um, have people go and see it and be excited about it and I mean the youth are probably the most um, enthralled and most important people in the world at the moment so it's great that it branches out to them.